Welcome everyone to uh, Franklin County and our government center and thank you for being here and a part of our third annual high school artists and scholars recognition breakfast um, and celebration. Uh, we are delighted that all of you are here. We have representatives from 15 of 16 school districts all across Franklin County and this is such an incredible opportunity to recognize the talents and achievements of our young and budding residents. Um, my name is Mike Hochran. I'll be our MC for the morning. I work for, uh, for the Board of Commissioners. Um, and to kick us off, I'm going to ask uh, Tom Katzenmeyer, the president of the Greater Columbus Arts Council and uh, provider of this wonderful breakfast, to say just a word or two. Thank you very much. I want to thank the commissioners. All three of them are here with us. Commissioner Brooks, Commissioner Brown, Commissioner O'Grady. This is the third year we've done this. It's a wonderful program. Uh, we're thrilled to honor you here. We're thrilled that you've come from all parts of the county. I uh, got to meet a lot of you as we were working the room. There are singers here, dancers here, drawers here, painters here, illustrators, photographers. It's, wonder it's a wonderful soup of creative talent, so we're very happy. I have asked all the students here to promise me that they, after college, will return to Columbus and practice their art. So you can go away to school, but you got to come back here uh, after that. So I'm going to mention um, three things and then we're going to get on with the show here. Uh, number one is there are 450,000 school children that are touched in the county by programs that the Greater Columbus Arts Council funds. So we're very proud of that and I know that we can do better. So we will we will do more, but that's all the arts organizations like the symphony and the outreach that they do uh, in the schools for us, so it's fabulous. There are 8,500 jobs and $226 million in economic spend based on the arts in Columbus. We're doing the update on that number. We'll have it in the spring, but I expect that it will be more because that number is four years old. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And then this is the thing that I want you to leave with. And I love this number, and some of you have heard me say it before, but nonprofit arts attendance in Columbus is 1.44 times that of sports. And the numbers that, yep, you can applaud to that. So that only includes programs that the Arts Council funds. So it doesn't include when you go to the stadium and you see the Rolling Stones. It's only nonprofit arts attendance. But it, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, and, but it does include, on the other side of the equation, the Clippers, the Blue Jackets, uh, Ohio State men's and women's basketball, Ohio State football, um, and the crew. So uh, just leave with that today. Uh, arts attendance is much higher than sports attendance in our community and we're very proud of that and it speaks so much to what's happening here and the creative culture in Columbus. So with that, let's get on with the recognitions that you have so well earned. Thank you for being here. So this event wouldn't be possible without the support and leadership of our Franklin County Board of Commissioners and at the risk of placing a, a microphone in front of elected officials, I want to give them each a quick opportunity to introduce themselves so you know who is working so hard on your behalf here in Franklin County. First of all, let me uh, just say thank you, parents, teachers, administrators, and students um, for all of your efforts and for being here this morning. Uh, many years ago when I became a new commissioner, there was a guy named Dick Neustadt, very smart man, who told me about his daughter. She had decided to pursue an art career. She was designing and selling jewelry. And uh, he said, Paula, she's now in medical school. Fast forward um, a few uh, years after that, my daughter took another turn. She was an art major originally at Ohio State. She went into the business world, was de designing. And then she met the love of her life who had a child who was a leukemia survivor. So she completely switched careers, went into uh, pre-med, and she'll graduate next year. So you never know what your children are going to do with their immense, immense talents. That was for the parents. Now, for the students, just want to say thank you very much for, um, I hope, coming back 
uh, as Tom mentioned, it's so important that we have the creative class of people here and building our society. We need your efforts to build resilience. Uh, we will survive in a very wonderful quality of life um, with your help, but it's on you. And I hate to put that burden on you, but it is on you to help us in future years. God bless you. Thank you for being here. As Commissioner Brooks said, we thank everybody for being here today. I know I had an opportunity to tell this story to some of you. For me, this is very personal, but it isn't personal. Art saves lives, and the arts in this community really does save lives. In addition to all of the things that Tom said that arts does, for our kids who aren't the sports kids, for, for the kids that are really very creative and don't get to play sports because they're not into sports, or they, or they get cut, or they're just not interested in sports, but are creative and interested in the arts in any way, it really is a lifesaver, and it saved my daughter's life. Um, if not for her interest in stage management and theater, she would not have fit in at all in school. She would have not done well in school at all. But she needed to do well to participate in theater, and she did really well in school because she had to, to be a stage manager in high school. She went on to college as a stage manager. She went on to an internship at a theater. She went on to, pro to Broadway and was a stage manager on and off Broadway for nine years. So arts and supporting your child in their career in the arts is really a wonderful thing. And we need people to teach arts, to be able to perform arts in any way they can. So thank you all for being here to support your children. Thank you to the teachers. Thank you to the students for your beautiful, creative art. So it's good to see everybody here this morning. Um, this is the Artists and Scholars uh, event and breakfast that we do to honor uh, the kids that are, that are really strong academically and the kids that are really creative. And when I was your age, truth be told, I was neither. I was, uh, I was not, uh, I was the underachieving um, uh, student and I was, you know, I, I never tried, they always, all the teachers, oh yeah, if you'd only apply himself, he'd be great. Well, that didn't happen until I grew up and realized what, you know, I, so I, in, when I was in college, I finally uh, started doing well academically, but I was never an artist. I was always jealous. Uh, we were, nobody in my family, we were never, nobody was ever, you know, into the arts or into music. I mean, we, we enjoyed it, but we weren't, we didn't do it. We weren't involved in it. And it wasn't until, you know, I was a knucklehead athlete. You know, I played, you know, back when you could, I played three sports. I've, I had like 10 varsity letters. And, and it wasn't until my wife and my children that I started realizing and understanding how important all of this is. Uh, not just because there's a whole bunch of kids, as Marilyn always says, that aren't the sports kids, um, but because even, even some of those kids, there's just so much creativity. There's so much that, that people have to offer in so many other ways. And when I was a, a kid, all I cared about was sports. My, my daughter came home, and she got an academic letter, an academic varsity letter. I was like, what is that? You got a letter for being, you know, for being really smart? That's fantastic. I thought that was the coolest thing. When she finally got her varsity letter for playing softball, it was like, eh. You know, she, now, she plays softball in college, and my son plays baseball in high school. And my, but my, my other son, is they're, and they're both fantastic students. All four of my kids are, thankfully, they take after their mother, and they're fantastic students. But um, my third child is a, a, a drummer. He's a percussionist, and he's a very, very good and very creative, and it's fantastic. And so I find myself over the years going to choir competitions and choir concerts and going to band 
uh, um, uh, recitals and things that I never did growing up. And I opened up to this whole new uh, experience in my life and all the wonderful creative things that, uh, that, that young folks can do these days. And oh, by the way, all the parents in the room, you guys all know this to be true. They're all smarter than we are. They're all more creative than we were. <laughs> you know, heck, my kids are better athletes than I was. Um, there's something about it, but they're better than us, and it's fantastic. And so while we recognize, and, and, and you know, society does recognize as our athletes all the time, and folks who succeed on the field and they're champions and all, oh, that's great. You know, we, and it was, you know, Commissioner Brown a few years back, but we as a, as a board, all three of us, uh, have just thought that this is the most phenomenal thing to be able to invite all of you guys down and share not only your artwork, but your creative talents, your mu musical talents, and for some of you, your academic talents. And so uh, congratulations to all of you. We love having you here, and uh, we are very, very, very proud of you and excited about uh, the Columbus and the Franklin County of the future because of all of you. Thank you. Okay, so here's a quick run through of how this is going to work. We have students from 15 different school districts and we'll be calling you up by school district uh, for a brief introduction, uh, your nomination, what was sent by your parents, your teachers, your administrators of why you've been selected. I'll ask you to come up and we'll take a photo photograph of you with the commissioners um, and then you'll come off this way. Uh, we have a certificate for you and a, uh, and a prize pack, some thank yous on behalf of the Columbus Museum of Art, COSI and uh, the zoo. So without further ado, we're going to start with Bexley City Schools. We have two students, both from Bexley High School, and those are Mia Carrillo and Sofia Petrov. If you could come up, please. <laughs> so Mia is an incredibly talented and creative student. She is an active member of the theater, is a National Honors Thespian, and is treasurer of the theater board. Mia's creativity and skill have allowed her early entrance into the Columbus College of Art and Design. And Sofia Petrov is a strong student who exemplifies leadership and a willingness to learn. She's an accomplished and dedicated member of the orchestra and has successfully completed six advanced placement courses during her high school career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. So come off this way. Yep. Come back to the right. Perfect. All right. So next uh, we have Canal Winchester Local Schools. We have Elena Rear and Amanda Trogus. So. Elena exhibits great work ethic in fulfilling her artistic ideas, frequently exceeding project guidelines in both planning and execution. Elena is very dedicated and highly skilled in her art, excelling in ceramics, art foundations, and art media. Amanda Trogus shows great drive, focus, and dedication. She is a leader of the Canal Winchester High School Marching Band and is interested in pursuing a career in the arts. Amanda is currently taking independent study classes to refine her portfolio. To your right. <laughs> Uh, next, we have Columbus City Schools, uh, and we have Isatu Berry and Judah Culp. <laughs> Isatu Berry is a passionate activist and exceptional writer. She is working on a proposal to, compete, to complete a service project in Kenya and an essay contest to participate in a global teen summit on food issues. Isatu has also been selected to give a teen TEDx talk on November 4th. Judah Culp is an exceptional musician and student. She has performed in three Career Center musicals and is the president of the Fort Hayes Metropolitan Singers. Last spring, Judah was a finalist in the Columbus Voice of the City competition. Uh, next up, we have Dublin City Schools. We have three students. Uh, we have Alicia Garcia, Wyatt Humphreys, and Jesse Ma. Wyatt Humphreys excels in the advanced concepts and techniques of photography. His self-direction, curiosity, and creativity have allowed him to push the boundaries of what photography has to offer and to succeed on a personal and professional level. 
Jessie Ma is a well-rounded student who produces artwork of the highest level, some of which has been accepted to the Ohio State Fair Student Exhibition. She serves on student council, is the student IBAP representative on the principal's advisory council, and achieved a perfect ACT score. Uh, next up, we have Gehanna Jefferson Public Schools with two students. We have Alana Heiser and Caleb Gerard. <laughs> Alana Heiser is a very talented and creative artist. She excels at printmaking where she experiments with new materials and applications to express thoughts and emotions. Alana is looking forward to continuing her printmaking work in college. Caleb Gerard is a very dedicated, hardworking, and talented artist. He turns his vision and ideas into wonderful films and drawings, completing pieces both in and outside of class. Caleb has shown the ability to continually develop his skill, frequently implementing new information and feedback into his artwork. Next up, we have Groveport Madison Local Schools with two students, <laughs> Kelsey Souders and Sloan Strauss. Kelsey Souders is an excellent and exemplary artist. She is a member of the marching, concert, jazz, and pet bands. Kelsey excels throughout her studies, is passionate about art, and is looking into a career as an art teacher. Sloane Strauss is a creative and positive force in the art room. She excels in mediums ranging from sewing and fashion design to painting and 3D art. Sloane has helped paint murals throughout the school, helped set up art shows, and has been a four-year member of an after-school art enrichment program. Next up, we have Hamilton Local Schools with Tyler, Taylor Kahn and Stacy Uten. And I don't see Taylor, but Stacy Uten is an extremely hard worker who has reached an elite level of craftsmanship and creativity. She has excelled at many mediums and is a member of the band program. Stacy has always maintained a positive, creative, and experimental attitude when creating her art projects. Okay. Great. Uh, next up, we have Hilliard City Schools with Allison Rhodes, Sydney Pliska, and Mona Danish. Allison Rhodes is a distinguished student in the arts as well as a four-year member of the lacrosse team. She is specialized in photography and had work published in Photographer Forum magazine's Best of College and High School Photography for 2016. Allison intends to build on her photography success in her future education. Sydney Pliska is a member of the art club and has been very active in many different mediums. She has worked in ceramics, media art, drawing, painting, sculpture, and portfolio. Sydney intends to further her art education next year at college. And Mona Danish is an excellent student and artist specializing in illustrations. She is the co-president of the Davidson Art Club, and as a 10th grader, one of her works was selected for the annual Governor's Art Show. Mona intends to go to the Columbus College of Art and Design to continue her focus on illustration. Oh. <laughs> Next, we have New Albany Plain Local Schools with two students, Red Ingman, Ingram sorry, and Macy Bingman. <laughs> Red Ingram is a double bassist who has performed internationally. He is the marketing director for the TEDx New Albany planning team and is also responsible for delivering daily announcements at his school. Red is interested in majoring in conducting or musical performance in college. Macy Bingman is very active in choir, dance, and theater. She is currently the president of the New Albany High School International Thespian Society Troupe and has been involved in numerous plays through the drama department, including the current production of The Addams Family, a new musical comedy. <laughs> Next up, we have Reynoldsburg City Schools with Benjamin Sykes and Taylor Livingston. Um, 
Uh, apparently, we don't have either of the students from Reynoldsburg here today, but we're delighted that they nominated students and participated in this year's program. Uh, next up, we have Southwestern City Schools with four students, Walter Lee, Camelia Lajaj, Sophia Friend, and Zachary Stepp. Camelia Lajaj, oh, I skipped one. Walter Lee is an amazing artist, student leader, and positive influence. He helps others without hesitation and is always seeking to improve his own work. Walter is very involved in band, his community, and his church, and throughout these activities, Walter has incorporated his love of photography. Camelia Lajaj is a fearless artist whose photography is inspired by important social issues. Her themes include acceptance, cyberbullying, and female empowerment. Camellia's work facilitates classroom engagement and discussion and has been shown throughout the state. Zachary Stepp is a student who excels in academics, athletics, and the arts. He is a creative problem solver and enjoys digital design. Zachary is well regarded by his peers and teachers alike, is always looking to challenge himself, and consistently shows the willingness to strive for the best. Uh, next up, we have Upper Arlington City Schools with Alex Falk and Malia Martin. <laughs> Alex Falk is a self-motivated, experimental learner who excels in whatever medium he works. He has achieved success in the Scholastics Art and Writing Competition and the Ohio Governor's Youth Art ex Exhibition. Alex enjoys creating digital and robotic art using 3D software. Malia is a creative, unique, and technically precise artist. She consistently challenges herself and has a very determined, never quit work ethic. Malia has utilized her skills to succeed in multiple upper level courses. Uh, next up, we have Westerville City Schools. Uh, one student, Kylie Blovitz. Is Kylie here? Oh, we'll give her a round of applause anyway. Um, next up, we have Whitehall City Schools with two students, Draven Curry and Gabe Wilson. <laughs> Draven Curry is a very talented artist, particularly skillful in drawing. He has shown tremendous growth in expressive and color technique over his high school career. Gabe Wilson is also a very talented artist who has shown great skill with his uh, technique. He is a hard-working student and has exhibited both tremendous progression and growth while at Whitehall City Schools. Congratulations. Uh, next up, we have Worthington City Schools with Missy D'Angelo and Dustin Hotelling. <laughs> Missy has exhibited a broad arc of style, skill, and technique in multiple forms of drawing. Her work has been on display, including a mural featuring her time at a month-long winter hike through Yellowstone National Park. This winter, Missy will go on a walkabout with a professional cartoonist in New York City. Dustin Hotelling is deeply committed to the art of composition. He started and maintained a club for students to present, encourage, and critique young writers regardless of skill. Dustin recently exemplified reflective journal writing by completing a walkabout at Cluster State Park in South Dakota. And somehow we almost caught up on time, which is incredible. Um, so I want to thank all of you for coming and being here today, to the students as well as their teachers, their parents, administrators, superintendents, and everyone who was a part of supporting this program. And of course, GCAC and the Board of Commissioners for putting all of this together. For those of you who are interested in learning about county government while you're here, the Commissioner's General Session will take place in just a few minutes on the 26th floor. Uh, you can follow us to the elevator. You are not required, but you're certainly welcome if you'd like to join us. Um, and for everyone who is not um, your artwork, please feel free to retrieve it um, as you leave today. So one last time, let's have a big round of applause for all of these incredible students.